There are many different reactions that happens in our body all the time. There are reactions that builds up molecules, those are called anabolic reactions, as well as reactions that break down molecules, known as catabolic reactions. Together, the sum of all anabolic and catabolic reactions in our body makes up our metabolism. Enzymes are biological catalysts that speed up the rate of reactions that would otherwise happen slowly. In this practical, you will study the enzyme that is found in the cells of the body of many living tissues called catalase. It speeds up the reaction which breaks down hydrogen peroxide into two harmless substances, namely water and oxygen. The hydrogen peroxide is the product of metabolic reactions and is toxic. In front of me, I have the following. I have my Bunsen burner with my splinter. I also have my cooked potato, which I've already uh, measured out three grams. I have my raw potato, which I've also measured out three grams. Um, in my measuring cylinder, I've used 25 more measuring cylinder, of which I've pre-measured out 10 moles in the one. I will show you now how to do the measuring out of the 10 moles in the other one as well. And then we will start the reaction. So I've taken a dropper. The dropper is your five moles. And all I've got to do is ensure that I end up with 10 moles. To measure accurately, one needs to ensure that the meniscus lies on your 10 mole dropper. Now all I've got to do is add, sorry, label the one A and the one B and add, let's put that in front, and cooked potato to the one. So in this one we have cooked potato, in the other one I'm putting my raw potato and I've cut the potato fairly small to ensure that the enzyme, that to, to create a greater surface area for the enzyme reaction. And one just needs to observe what is happening in tube A and tube B. And one can see from um, tube A using the raw potato that the enzyme action is um, almost immediate. And one can see that um, the bubbles have immediately started um, being given off and those bubbles are called your oxygen bubbles. And to test whether these bubbles are actually oxygen, one could use your Bunsen burner and your splinter. test tube B, one can see that um, very little at reaction has taken place and that is because the cooking process denatures uh, the enzymes in, the, um, in your potato. So with reaction B there is no oxygen given off 